Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. It's free and it will ensure you won't miss any future videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to finish the skin mount bass. It's a continuation of part one and part two, which was the skinning and mounting of the same fish. I'm going to start by reinforcing the fins. I'm going to use a clear surgical tape. This product's made by 3M and Polytranspar fin backing cream. Although there's a number of other products that work equally as well. So let's get started. We simply take a piece of our tape, cover the back side of each fin, work it in, and we repeat this on each fin. Next step is simply taking a pair of scissors and trimming the tape to the contour of your fin. Next thing we do is take our caulk. Spread a layer on each fin all the way around the fish. This gives the fin a little thickness, a little strength. Work it in nice. And when it's all done, it'll be somewhat flexible, less likely to break. Now the fins are all done. We put it aside, let it dry for a little bit. Then we are all ready to set our eye and do our finish epoxy work. Next we're going to mix up some epoxy sculpt to set the eyes. Get a equal parts of A and B and mix it up good. Now that our epoxy sculpt is mixed, we'll take some, fill in the back of the eye and set it. modeling tool and a brush to smooth it out. That's all you need. And smooth it out with a wet finger. Then we take our epoxy sculpt, go over the whole fish, look for any holes. If you remember my first video, I think I showed it. I cut a, I got sloppy and I cut a hole here. We're going to take a little of this now and do the repair. It's very easy. Then you can simply take a paper towel, give it a little texture. I have these little scale molds that I made. I have another video that I showed how to make those. And I just press in some scale impressions into that soft epoxy. And when that's painted up, you'll never see it. I'm going to put some epoxy in here. I hope you can see this. There's another hole there that I'm going to fill. I usually put a little bit down in here to fill that out, give it a nice full look where it's shrunken. I have another shrunken area. It's very common in the top of the head here. I put just a little bit in there and smooth it out. You can do as much of this type of stuff as you want. 
a lot of shrunken areas and the more time you spend filling them in it's just a little bit like that it will show up in the finished mount now the top of the head I give just a little bit of texture and a little bit right here where I shrunk an area where I filled in and I think that's looking pretty good we'll let this dry one other thing I want to do is cover the seam in the back. A lot of different ways of doing that. I usually use epoxy. You can cover it with fabric. A lot of different ways to achieve good results. Today I'm going to use Bondo just because it's what I happen to have handy. So I mix up some Bondo. Once it's mixed, start applying it to the seam. When it first starts to kick, I like to have a old wood rasp nearby so I can smooth it before it gets totally hardened. And that makes a pretty nice backside. And the Bondo is starting to kick. I'm just going to smooth it out, give it a little nicer look. And that covers up the seam nicely on the back. Now I'm going to step outside, use some black spray paint, and put a little color to this. So now I'm going to seal the entire fish. I'm going to use shellac today simply because that's what I have readily available. Clear lacquer, any one of a number of things would probably work equally well. Now it's all ready to paint. So again, this video has become rather lengthy. So what I'm going to do is end this one here and I'll follow it with a part four, which will be just the painting.